Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is One Hour, One Life. Well, the apocalypse is back. The towers are a little more difficult to construct, and, um, yeah, they take 24 hours, roughly. Probably more. Uh, so yeah, I probably won't be building one, but maybe we'll see a block or something as we hop in here to play. Okay, we are royals. Pretty sure there's a song about that. This place looks familiar. It looks like the uh, first town that I was in in my last life. It definitely is. Here's the corn farm here. The sheep farm was down there. The berry farm's up there. We made a bunch of pies in this area last time. berry farm. Of course it's been devoured and there are few berries growing here even though I'm sure it was expand expanded considerably before. It's a little hilarious but also very discouraging that it takes so long for people to understand how to play this game. Got somebody wearing the burden. That's good. Let's burn one of these baby sheeps in the fire as a sacrifice. It's not gonna work. Ugh. Why are there sheep wandering around on the outside? I don't understand. Perfect. Yeah, look at all these berry foragers. They're all kind of young, though, so it's fine. There's a bunch of wheat. There's carrot seeds, but I don't see actually any carrots planted, which is an oversight. Yeah, someone probably said, oh, we have plenty of carrots, and decided not to put any more seeds in the ground, which is fine. It has to be fine because that's the way that it is. Yeah. Oh no. Ah. Oh. There are beans. So that's encouraging. This is a raw stew pot, so it just needs to be uh, set on fire. What are you doing? Is there already a bigger fire? Yeah, there's already a big fire. Okay. Bowl of stew, cooked mutton pie, rabbit pie, rabbit pie. I'm gonna steal this and get it out of the way. Please tell me you didn't feed that lamb. I'll bet she did. Uh, 
Ugh. Too bad it doesn't have a knife in it. I would go ham. Wow. Now we've got murderers up here. Jack, just stab that guy. Okay, thankfully he's dead. Well, I can already tell that this is a really terrible place to be, and I really don't want to, uh, to help these people at all. Unfortunately, though, I'm sure I'm going to have the same problem as I had in my last life, that there is going to be no uh, iron in the nearby areas for me to go and find. So if I wanted to move over to here in this place and uh, work... It would be kind of pointless, because I wouldn't be able to make any tools. So, it's a huge shame. Let's go wandering around a bit then. We have a home marker down, so I don't have to worry about that. There's some free food. I'm sure there will be bananas that we can find. But if we go on a nice little adventure, um, maybe we can find some more iron. Bring it back. Oh no. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, we got no chance this time. I'm pretty sure we're toast. We might make it. Our meter is actually not dropping nearly as fast as I expected. Unless this wolf comes and eats us. There we go. We lived. Okay. Now I expect that this is a small place. Here we go. Already found some iron. Okay, good. I was worried that was a wolf running around, but it was just a penguin. There's a bear. So I have, in my mind, a mission that I'm going to go make a knife and then murder all of the sheep that I can find. At least the ones that are outside of the pen. Oh, I've already gone to the wrong place. Okay. I bet there's no axe out here, though. I did see a hatchet down in this area. Here we go. So I'll take that. We're getting hungry again already. Perfect. 
a little far away, but it's alright. Speaking of far away, the only nearby fire is this one over here. I didn't even check to see if there's adobe over here either to cover the kiln with. Uh, there's not. There's clay, but there's... There's not adobe. Oh, what a pain. What a pain. Alright, this is going to reset my food. I don't even care at this point. Um... So we would need Is this corn? Yeah. Why am I not surprised? Okay. And there's no more reeds, whoa, in this whole zone. Wild. Okay, then. I guess we're going to have to come over here. Let us, let's see, first we're going to eat this. Okay. Just because I can't stand this place doesn't mean I can't uh, help them out a little bit. So I will do what I can. Okay. Uh, I don't have a bellows for over here either, which is a bit of a shame. I could straight up steal this bellows, but I don't know if that's a good idea. Rabbit pies, mutton pies. It looks like somebody else has been murdering the sheep too. So that's pretty encouraging. Or at least sharing them where they can't have babies. Um, I was looking for something very specific and now I've forgotten what in the world it was. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. And there's... There's tongs there, but I... Need a flat rock. And this is going to be more complicated than I first anticipated. Because really we need steel, don't we? Oh, come on. 
Yeah, they took all the baskets out of here. So I can't even take those off until I have a... Alright, then fine. We'll just do it. I can at least get the iron, and then we can make the... There we go. Is there steel? There's a bunch of steel just laying around here. Here's a basket as well. So I'll just go get the charcoal, bring it back, and I'll just make a knife here. Man. This is probably one of my least helpful one hour one life videos ever. Alright, perfect. And there's the hammer. Okay. So we've got this going for us. Now we just need the short shaft. Yep, just keep running in place. It's perfectly fine. There's got to be branches around here somewhere, right? There we go. And look. Alright, where are the rest of them? I saw you. I saw you. How did the move line get out? Anybody? Are you idiots? Breaking the pin? Or what's going on here? Oh man, I feel so much better now. I've got a corpse cart running around. Um, let's see. I wonder if there is a string farm anywhere. So I wish we could lasso the big animals and take them places, but sadly it's not a thing. Because I would love to have the mouflon in there instead of the idiot sheep. Because people are not smart enough to just feed the sheep one time and then share them and then murder them and then get rid of them. I don't understand what's so difficult about that process to understand. It's really not that hard.
All right. Can you fit three muttons? Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Okay. Come on. Move. Getting things cleaned up a little bit. It's always good. Nope. That's a button. I guess we should keep most of it over on this side, since I've already started. Oh man. shears here. I'm pretty sure she just fed a sheep. Okay. Perfect. Let's get these bones back down here where they ought to be. That'll be good. And then pile out some of these muttons. Where did this baby sheep come from? The mouflon, probably? Probably. Rabbit pie. Okay, that's fine. I'm sure this is going to be a super interesting video, just me um, sheep farming all the time. Trying to clean some dang things up because these people are trashy as heck. Yeah. 
Right there, please. Thank you. Now, yes, I saw that. Here it is. So let's get that started. There we go. You idiot sheep. Man, that's frustrating. And you stupid lamb. I hate it when they run in front of where I'm dropping things. I hate it so much. It's so incredibly frustrating. You should still be able to drop a thing down where an animal is. But I guess... I, I'm pretty sure that I read somewhere that he's working on that. So that animals can... Uh, step onto tiles where other items are already uh, because that's a huge a huge benefit of surviving bear attacks especially is that you could just stand on a tile where an item already is and the bear can't get onto that same tile and so he's been trying to work on that so that people can get murdered by bears um, if they're standing on a tile with a thing there Okay. Yeah, we need to get this fire going. I know I say don't ever use maple logs for that. But it needed to be done. Yeah, he made kindling to bring it up. I don't even know where he got an axe or a hatchet down here. This mouflon needs to die. Since we have a tame sheep in the pen. Okay, he's making a Nukeman engine. This is not where I wanted to be. I was trying to go for that skeleton. It's not really in the way, but I'm going to remove it further. If you keep the sheep pen clean like this, then you don't have to worry about too many babies being around. Uh, and if there's too many babies, then you're not going to be able to get the poop when you feed the babies. Which causes problems as well. But this kind of uh, keeping things picked up and keeping things tidy is nobody's specialty, it seems like. There's a rare few folk that are as sort of obsessive about it as I am. And those are the kinds of people that really keep a, a colony going. I'm not trying to say I'm a rare person or pat myself on the back or anything because... I make serious mistakes, just like anybody. But it seems like this kind of thing is really easy for me, and there are there are plenty of people who don't get it, and for whom it is not easy. So I, I get that. Oh, what an ordeal. Okay. There's pies. There's berries. There's composts. Let's get these separated out so that people can 
actually use them with the bowls. Because I know that there's going to be people who don't know uh, the difference between using the bowls and the baskets. Anything else? Yeah, there's one down here that needs soil. Oh, she got it. Okay. So they are being tended to decently here. Alright, I'm going to steal this bowl because I'm a thief like that. Perfect. Okay, so they've got carrots going now. Uh, we've got berries. We've got everything we need for more compost. Including sheep poop. Okay, how is the pen looking? Nice and clean. Perfect. Now, I've been told that you can destroy these. Bowl of water gives a clay bowl and a water pouch. Okay, so if I put water on both of these, I think we can get rid of them. Uh, this one I think I'll, I'll leave there because I think it's necessary. But this one I think needs to go because this is here, this is here, that's here. I think both of these can go. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now let's see if there's any water in here. There is. And we can take this back down. Whoa, frame drops. Um, to the bakery here. Oh man, you know what sounds really good right now? Some cooked mutton. Just plain old cooked mutton. Got mutton pies, which I'm sure I've already eaten. So let's just go like this. Okay, so we've got milkweeds here. We've got beans. Doesn't appear there's any more corn being grown. And I don't think we have any squash. Then I see a raw... A wild squash... Uh, seed pod somewhere. Yes. Okay. These are carnitas for whatever reason. I'm surprised that people still try to make those. Sheep, don't tempt me. I will murder you. I've murdered all of your kin by now. Okay. Unfortunately, this means that we need a hoe. There's no telling where it is. It's probably up north. Yeah. Come on. Any time now. There we go. Go get these hoed in. Okay, and then do we need just a flint chip? Can I use a knife on this? No. Sharp stone right here. No. A regular stone, of all things. A regular stone. Good luck finding one of those. It seems like children just want to 
turn every stone into a sharp stone. Um, all right, I think I've tested this before, and even putting it into a bowl uh, doesn't actually give us more seeds. Where the heck am I? Okay, yeah, we still only have just the one seed. And corn seeds, of all the dang things to put into a bowl, that couldn't be any more useless. It's not what I wanted to do. None of those things are what I wanted to do. Okay. Okay. So now we have the ingredients for stew all growing. Organization is always a good idea when it comes to any anything, really. Having things in a reasonable layout and in places where they make sense is always ideal. Why? Why is there milkweed up here, around the berries? And there's no, um, there's no compost up there. Okay, there's compost there. Someone's probably jacked my basket. They didn't. Oh, heart attack. I wish she would move, since I'm trying to do things here. Yeah. There's a fire down here. Okay. Steal this bolt. What are you doing with that? Alright. Oh, come on. 
Wow. And so many of these berry bushes have died since I just tended to them. Which means they're getting devoured at an unreasonable rate. It's not that hard to tend to the fire, people. Man, I'm annoyed. Everything that they need is right here to tend to the danged fire, and they choose not to. They choose to let it go out all the way, so that you have to search around for a hundred years to try to find the proper materials needed to get it all back together. Okay. Well, I hope that some of these berries have gone to making compost somewhere. I'll be a little surprised if it's been done correctly, but hey. Gotta give some people some credit, because I know that there's a lot of noobs. Look at this. Look at how, look at how disgusting this sheep pen is now. Just because I left it alone for like 10 minutes. There's no excuse for this. Except that people just don't pay attention to um, videos and how to actually do things properly. Oh, there should never be more than one uh, sheep with fleece. Man. And, you know, coincidentally, there's no more mutton laying around outside the pin out here, which means there's not any mutton pies being made currently. And it's all just because nobody knows how to take care of the dang sheep properly. We could have infinite mutton pies right now. Ugh. Ugh. It's just revolting. Because like I say, it's not difficult. By any stretch of the imagination. But if it takes any more than two seconds, most folk don't want to do it. Ugh. This is why. Because now this place is so full, and they aren't even making compost, or else there wouldn't be this much poop in here. Ugh. Okay. Okay. So we need to, uh... Is she making compost? Yes. Okay, wonderful. I will bring her some poop. I will bring her all the poop I can find. 
Sheep farming 101. Feed the sheep, get the poop. Shear the sheep. Butcher the sheep. And then move on. Is this a stew? That's a stew. I was hoping it was a mash berries. And my basket's probably gone. No surprise. Here's one. Nope. Because I was half a second too slow. If the sheep don't have anywhere to go, then you can't produce poop when you grow up the babies. So you have to keep the sheep pen clean or else you're not going to be able to make any compost. You're not going to be able to... Dang it. Get anything... Dang it. Get out of my way. You stupid animals. This is infuriating. Absolutely infuriating. And they're using the uh, berries and carrots to breed sheep instead of using it for compost. Otherwise we wouldn't have this dang many sheep. I don't even want to eat. I don't even want to eat.
Yeah, leave it for the next generation. That's one of the worst... One of the absolute worst worldviews any person can have. That's for the next generation. Ugh. Yeah, she clearly doesn't understand about not having room in the sheep pen, or she just doesn't care. And by her sentiment, that's for the next generation, she doesn't care. sick of it. I'm absolutely sick of it. <laughs> Go ahead. See if I care. Well, that's what she gets. That's all I have to say. There we go. Back to it. what I think of her for the next generation sentiment right there. That's exactly what I think about it. And if she's not going to listen to reason, she doesn't need to be in this village. I never kill a person without good reason. Oh, these stupid sheep. This stupid crowded pin. She had bred more than enough sheep. I asked her to stop. I'm not going to pretend like I didn't do it. <laughs> I will tell them straight up. I murdered the heck out of her for being a fool. Let's 
go eat us some foods. Uh, we're too old. Oh, we're gonna die. Oh, we lived. Yeah, especially because, like, right here, there's compost pile. It's not been watered. So if we water it right there, then we can grab some dung. There we go. Done. These are all mutton pies, more than likely. Which I shouldn't probably eat. But I'm always worried that the uh, berries aren't going to exist up here. Uh, where was my... Did my basket get stolen that easily? Yes. Yes, it did. Is composting good? Okay, where are the uh, shears? Where did the shears go? Did they break? Find me a baby. There we go. Oh, sorry for the salty episode. But, man. I know there's a lot of new people trying to learn how to play the game. Watch some videos. Share the video uh, that you think are educational. And um, show other people how to play the game. I wish I could have found a uh, better way to help that lady understand. But... The way that she was responding to me, I really don't think it would have been possible, even if I had tried to talk it out with her. And personally, I just didn't have the patience today to do that. Man, so I am sorry to her uh, for taking that route. Um, I did, didn't see much of an alternative. Whoa. If you want to see another episode, feel free to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time you spend on my channel. And I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell. <laughs>